okay so we have learned about what is called that thixotropic pseudoplastic flow the what happens in shear thing why in, in let's go back to again pseudoplastic flow that we said that in case of pseudoplastic shear thinning occur that means viscosity decreases why because viscosity decreases this is an explanation what happens in case of resting state in case of resting state particle uh, the polymer stays like this a little bit entangled and then dispersion the exhibits pseudoplastic flow this and when you increase the sharing stress the polymer molecules align themselves in their axis in the direction of the flow and this alignment molecules reduces the internal resistance allow a greater rate of shear which has, so for this reason the solvent associated with the molecules may be released and lowers the concentration of solvent and these factors lead to decrease in the viscosity so solvents associated with the molecules is released uh, here you see this these are solvent and this polymer polymer align themselves because of this seal viscosity decreases now another is th shear thickening shear thickening is just opposite of the shear thin thickening system or dilated material as you can imagine, shear thinning that means gets thicker. Shear thinning is get, getting thinner in case of pseudoplastic flow. The viscosity decreases here. Viscosity increases when the materials volume increases under an applied force. Materials volume decreases apply, uh, under applied flow increases. It's called dilated you perhaps need dilate volume increase and the resistance to flow increase also increase behind that you sh with the share with the increasing share and material gets thicker and this equation is like that here we are not going to play with this equation much and as you can see in case of let's see in case of pseudoplastic flow what was that pseudoplastic flow was like this and in case of dilatant flow we have a curve like this and then for viscosity see it goes up so these three differences and the what happens during a dilatant flow this is an explanation if Perhaps you know you played with play doh. No? What happens to play doh? Uh, in case of play doh, uh, when we start playing a lot, with uh, there will be the molecule will separate from each other. So it will here the explanation the suspension and the interesting state particles close the packed. Thus they are fluids and can be poured. At low rates, the amount of vehicle can fill the voids and particles can move around. Like here, you see the particle here, it can move around. But when, after shaking, there will be a lot of space here, there. Because of this space, there is not enough liquid to fill this void or empty spaces. For this reason, so because of the lack of liquid, the, the at low rates of shear the amount of vehicle can fill the void and particles can move around at high sharing stress system expands particle move faster before th than before and take an open form of the packing and this increases the interparticle void here yeah, this is interparticle void and that's viscosity increase so to summarize all those Phenomena. First, we have to learn no Newtonian yes. is Newtonian, and then 
प्लास्टिक सीडो प्लास्टिक एंड डायलेटेड what you have to do you put the all the graphs together newtonian would be like this and viscosity like this. plastic kilogram would be like this viscosity it will be constant and in case of pseudo plastic pseudo plastic it starts from here goes to the origin viscosity decreases and in case of dilatant it goes like that viscosity increases so if you look into the all of the rheogram goes through the origin except this one this one is what this one is plastic form so this information you have to remember the best way to you put this all this curve together all the and then you try to analyze which one is what in this way you can answer all of them, many hard questions now thixotropic thixotropic materials become more fluid with increasing time of applied force so applied forces are steering pumping shaking there are two types of material thixotropic for example all tomato ketchups and everything these are thixotropic thixotropic material becomes more fluid in increasing time of applied force more you shake is it is a time dependent phenomena and these were stress dependent this are time dependent if you look into the see here these are time dependent apparent viscosity thixotropic material goes down and the reverse is reopex reopactic material here thixotropic cell are made of thixotropic matter becomes more fluid with increasing time of applied force applied forces are steering often reversible if left undisturbed thixotropic slurry regains its viscosity undergoes a reversible gel to shell and exhibits shear thinning you can imagine this shear thinning it has to be shear thinning because viscosity and then thixotropy systems are made of asymmetric particle at rest this structure gives some rigidity that resembles like looks like a gel at as shear is applied the structure begins to break and the points of contact also break so upon removal of the stress structure re start to reform so for this reason here we everybody all of us with uh, this stuff so when you in case of it is very easy to remember in case of tomato ketchup you shake you pour it and it even and then you put back in the refrigerator it becomes again hard so for this reason every time we are taking tomato ketchup we are shaking so we are doing this thing every day science with the everyday thing without knowing the science why now you know the science that why you have to shake now reopexing material are solid at rest just but form gels upon shaking Reopactive materials become more thick. Apparent viscosity increases, and this is uh, that's why it's called work hardening. Hardening uh, in case of reopex is called work hardening, and this is called work work softening. So now, uh, how to make viscosity? Again, please remember those two uh, two terminology: thixotropy and reopex. Thixotropy, it is time dependent. We go back to this here time dependent is time dependent with time a uh, viscosity increases with time so viscosity decreases with time viscosity increases and how long it my time means how long you are put applying the stress so now determination of viscosity D determination of viscosity simple viscometer measure the viscosity at a given shear rate so operation involves driving you just here you see this spindle this is nothing but here we have spindle like this and here you have the sample it runs 
I have in my lab one. It runs, and the force, be depending on the thickness of the fold, or thickness of the liquid, it will give, it will transmit this force here, and you can measure the viscosity. So this, so for non Newtonian system instrument that operates at a single shear rate is used, as you can imagine. Non-Newtonian system, we, we have to use one shear rate, one speed, but Newtonian system, but non-Newtonian instrument with variable shear rate is required because we want to see what happens when shear rate changes. I want you to remember this, this kind. Non-Newtonian CM, you have to add the shearing has to be changed, but Newtonian system operate at a single shear rate. This for non Newtonian system, you can use this one simple viscometer. You have a spindle here, and then it is running. And it, but in case of non Newtonian system, this machine must have option to change the sharing rate with time, or, or with time, or it will gradually increase. So, in this way, you can determine non Newtonian system. Here another concept is called biorheology. Instead of only I have been talking about only pharmacy related stuff. Okay. But we have but we have rheological property in our body too. First the study of the deformation of flow in the biological system is called biorheology. Changes in the rheological properties of Biological could get a lot of information about disease condition. So one of them is hemorrheology, deals with the flow properties of the blood. And the blood is a non Newtonian fluid. Remember, blood is not Newtonian fluid. Many pathological conditions influence the rheology of the blood. And one of the viscosity measure is hematocrit and plasma velocity. And this value increases in atherosclerosis, angina, and myocardial infection. And also, there are drugs. There are drugs which work by changing the viscosity. Probably you have heard called blood thinner. Blood thinner, that means when blood gets thicker, viscosity increases, you use some drugs to reduce drugs viscosity. So, as you can imagine, I, I didn't just invent those drugs. It is very much related. And lot of things you will see that is related to rheology and drugs. For example, one of the rheological properties of mucus can be used as diagnostic tool. Viscosity of lung epithelial mucus increases in cystic fibrosis. When it is pressed, and mucus is very thick, that means a rheological property has changed. And you can determine, uh, you can come up to some conclusion what's going on with the person. So, and another Interesting thing in human life, the transfer of spermatozoa to the uterus depends on the rheology of the cervical mucus. You see, the viscosity of cervical mucus decreases at mid menstrual cycle to facilitate the penetration of spermatozoa. So, uh, this this is another physiological factor that may, may cervical mucus viscosity decreases, so it can allow easy penetration of the spermatozoa. So, these are concept of biology. Biorheology. So I want you also read these slides. Do not ignore because it is at the end of the lecture. Do not ignore those slides. So, and then differentiate between dilatant and cytoplastic. I have already explained. And thixotropy, rheopexy, also I have explained. Dilatant and dilatant like again dilatant and cirrhotic. So let's so see. Plastic is like that. And dilatant is like this. And then rheopex thixotropy it becomes a viscosity increases. It actually decreases. How can you determine viscosity? We can determine viscosity. We have this commuter. For non Newtonian system, we need a machine which, uh, which does not change, sharing rate does not change. But in case of non Newtonian system, the sharing rate has to change with time. And the biorheology and blood is a non Newtonian food. This is all I had for you guys. I will post some, 
I will post some quizzes on Sakai. Again, uh, I wish you best of luck on quiz 2. All this I have taught. It's not going to come anywhere. Uh, from Not from the sky or it's going to, all the question is going to be from my note. And most of them is going to be very similar to what you see in uh, on the topic. So, before going my Tuesday night, you review top head quizzes. I will make those open top head quizzes, I think, starting this weekend. Best of luck. I will see you, I think, on 3rd or 4th of March.